Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. In today's session, I'm going to show you a cool list function. This function is called list alternate. We are going to use that to unstack a single column data set like this. You can also use split for this, but I'm going to show you specifically list alternate. And you can see it's consistently split up into chunks of three rows. We basically have an artist name, song name, and genre. We're going to take that using list alternate and we are gonna push it into a table like this let me show you how to do it all right first step we take this data set select your data set go to data and go to from table or range this will open up power query once you're in power query let's get rid of this change type step it's automatically added we don't need that right now you can see this is a table in order to use a list function you need to convert the table into a list and a list is nothing but a single column data set. So what you can do is, you can see there's a table with that little icon there. You simply, at the end, you can just, in square brackets, just indicate the column name, which is column one. So okay. And now this is converted into a list. All right, so now we can start looking at list alternate. Basically, you can see it takes three arguments. It takes a list as an argument, and then it basically specifies the number of values to be skipped each time. And then you have a repeat interval, and then an offset. All right. Let me show you what that means in terms of a set of numbers. Let's quickly add a step here just to show what it, how it works. List alternate a list of numbers from 1 to 20. Yes, and I'm going to say basically 0. See, there's your list from 1 to 20. So nothing really happened. If I say 1, it's going to skip the first character. OK, cool. So let's say I want to skip two characters and each one. Okay, so that's gonna do, it's gonna start the list, it's gonna skip the first two, starting at three, okay? And then it's gonna skip another two, four and five, and another six, and then seven and eight, we have nine. All right, cool. So then let's say I wanted to start at item number one. So now that's the offset. So now we start at one, and we skip two, so two and three, and the next one is four. So you can see what we're doing there. We're basically skipping like that. So we're going to use this logic over here in order to go through our list over here. All right, guys, okay, so I'm just going to delete the step over here. Let's start. So first thing, let's add a new step. In this step, we're going to say list alternate. Yes. And in order to get the band names, that's the very first one. I'm going to say, yes, we have the source, which is our list. Skip uh, skip two rows because we basically know we're always going to skip two rows. Our data set will be like that. So one, two. Okay, skip two rows and do it every one repeat interval and start at one. That should give me a list of all the band names. I'm just going to rename this. Press F2, say band name. Okay, cool. Let's add another step. I'm going to go back to source here. So now let's extract the genre. So we say list alternate. Yes, we give it the list as an input. We know that we want to skip two rows. Yes, that's our pattern. And we want to do it every once. There we go. 20 rows, 20 rows. And we can rename this to genre. All right. Now the next one, let's start a new step over there. And let's do the same thing. Let's refer to the source. We say list alternate. Now this one is the tricky one. So we're going to say yes, we want to skip every two rows. Yes. And we want to do it in repeat intervals of one. Yes. And I want to start at two item number two. So now you can see basically gave us a little bit of a problem that offset option basically doesn't it allow us to just start with let it be it basically limits us to um, the first row of data there, which is the Beatles. I don't want that. So what you can do with that is you can say list, skip, and you can say then skip the top one. And that will give us all, if I rename this, these are all our songs. All right. So now let's bring it all together. Add another step. I'm simply going to say table from columns. And I'm going to say in curly brackets there, take my band name. Yes. Uh, take my song and take my genre, which is the names over there of those steps. 
and then we can indicate in other curly brackets what we're going to call this. We're going to call that the band, the column names. We're going to call this the song name. And we're going to call that column the genre. And we say, OK, there we go. This is how you can use list alternate in order to, to unstack the data. But I'm going to show you a better way, a quicker way to do it with split. So I'm going to right click there, say duplicate. And I'm going to delete all of these steps. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And I'm going to do it all in one step. So what I can do here, you can see this is the, the one column. It's already a list. So I'm going to say in the front here, say list split. And I know it works in increments of three. That's my data set pattern over there. And I'm just going to add in the front here table from rows. And I'm going to put it in brackets. And there I'm going to say, let's call this the band name, song name, genre. Close it out like that and say, OK, there we go. That just happened in one step using some fancy list split over there. And you return the data into your Excel workbook. And there you go. Well, I hope this gave you some insight how you can use list alternate and list split and also list skip in order to do some cool stuff in Power Query. BA Sensei signing out.